All right, everyone. I made a couple of tiny mistakes on this Osprey. The rear tail fin is the most notable one. The other one is I didn't quite get this wing aligned properly. The third one is there's one of the front tires that came off this morning. It was barely glued on properly. I'm going to try to correct all these mistakes real quick and then give her another recoat of paint and try to fix up the seam problem right along there. Okay, it's not too bad. Most of the seams went away on this one fairly well. But we're going to see what we can do to fix up a couple of these seam problems. Be back in a bit. One, what we're looking at is one of the little vehicles from the Mercury 9. I've got a pile of them right there, a pile of them over there, a pile of them over there. <coughs> and a few randomly scattered. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put them. I also made some little tiny benches. And I'm going to put them around the place in a few pl certain areas. Okay. I need to compare those to a person. They may be a tad bit too tall, but by the time I push them down on here, I don't think they will be. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put everything. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm at the point, yes, I'm at that point. I also have made a whole bunch of different things to go around on the diorama base. So this thing looks a little more realistic than it does now. So let me get the placements, the cars and tanks and stuff you've already seen. That's like 15 videos ago. And then the last thing I'm going to have is helicopter and people. And I'm trying to decide what I want to do for people. I have little tiny resin people, but they're going to be a real major pain to paint. There's one of them right there. Okay. They are unpainted and it's going to be a chore to paint those. Um, I think that box is too big because it won't even fit on any of the, um, forklifts. But where it will fit is inside there. And I can make it look like there's boxes inside there. And I need to touch up the paint here yet. And that paint is right here. Yes, I use metallic gray for this building. And it's right there. Good old XF56. So I can touch up that paint real quickly. Um, so I'm trying to decide what to do. I'm going to get at it. A lot of these tanks and stuff are where they're going to be. I can tell you that right now. The tanks are almost too big. I mean, really. This tank in real life, next to this truck, yeah, that's they're in scale with each other. That is a big tank. Okay. Next to a forklift, oh yeah, it's much bigger than a forklift, and this is a heavy-duty super forklift, okay? So I'm going to put some random boxes and stuff piled outside that warehouse. Let me get going on this, because I don't have all night, and I'm going to glue all this stuff down with super glue, simply because I don't want to disturb the paint that much. I still have a few details to touch up here and there. Once I'm done placing the vehicles and the people, and I'm still trying to decide if I want to use the resin people or not. I'm still working on the helicopter that goes there. The Sea Stallion, I'm not in love with it. It was not one of my best efforts. It's actually one of my weakest efforts. So, it'll probably go in a display case somewhere. The Offspray is close to done. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Back in a bit. One. BB wants to say hi. I have not put these tanks down. I have not put the forklifts down yet. Okay? But, those three vehicles have been glued down. These two have been glued down. The benches have been glued down. This bench over here gave me some trouble, so I'm going to have to clean up the ground around it a little bit and repaint it. And most of that stuff over there has been put in. So now it looks something like a warehouse and people are moving stuff around. Okay? I'm not going to do too much because too much gets it overly cluttered. And I need to hit everything with a dull coat to dull down what that um, mm -hmm. glue is done. And BB has a desperate question. Um, the helicopter is going to go here. Yes, the helicopter's not done. I'm about to work on it, BB. Okay? What is the helicopter you look like? It's an Osprey. It looks like that one right there. Okay? There's a picture of it on the back of the box. Oh. Okay? Now, don't do that because you'll blind the camera, okay? Okay. 
we can leave the light pointing down here so everyone I'm near done with this I just got to get the forklifts glued down where I want them and I need to get the people and I gotta finish that helicopter and this is pretty much done I got a few places to touch up paint here and there there's okay um, there's boxes there's a lot of boxes in there that was the idea to put a lot of boxes in there kid all right that was the idea are these cars glued on they're glued on don't try to move them okay because I don't know how well the glue's gonna hold they're glued on enough if we don't bother them they'll stay and I, think I, think. I really do like the shot of the what? screens in the back of that control building what's in here I don't know oil water fuel <laughs> it's a storage tank of some kind, kid. It has number nine. Yeah, it does. It says Project Mercury 9. Do you okay. see the shield underneath Project Mercury 9? Uh, you can keep talking. Do you see the shield under the Project Mercury 9? Yes. That's my family crest. Oh. Yep. It's my family crest. All right, everyone. I'm going to get back to this. I got a little bit more work to do tonight, and I got to get to bed. Okay. I have four more days to finish this, and I don't have that much work to do. Really, I don't. I just got to place those forklifts, figure out if I'm going to use any of these little tanks, get the helicopter done, and people. Okay? So I'll be but back in a little while. BB uh... saying hi again. All right, everyone. I've pretty much glued everything down that I'm going to glue down other than people. Um, and I got... Uh, yeah. When the um, plane goes all the way to there is it gonna fly off no it's coming in to stop so they can unload it that's why we got and maybe put some stuff on it that's why we've got the um forklifts running in and out of the warehouse does that make sense yes okay we got a little armored vehicle right there at the stop sign turning his gun towards the plane for some reason over here, we got a couple of vehicles moving down the roads. I put a tank guard in the entrance to the big, scary rocket ship. Okay? Don't you dare go here. He yeah, exactly. Don't you dare go here. You need to think about where you're going when you come up to that tank. <laughs> okay? And I need to put some people on here yet, and i got to fix that helicopter. That's all that's left is a helicopter and people. And Nellie really thinks I should fix this groundwork in here make it a little prettier like what we see over there over there looks a lot better than it does over here that's just a matter of getting some glue and some ground material and putting it down it wouldn't take much time yeah bb i want to show them something what do you want to show them oh bb's been doing art lessons i bought her a set of acrylic paints and she's painting and she painted a rainbow pony and a, a rooster. It's really a rooster, BB. A cow. And a big pink pig. Alright. So everybody, I just got a little bit of detail touching up to do. The helicopter and people. And this one is called Done. Alright. So let me get at it. Because the helicopter is needing work. Speaking of which, let me show you what's up with it. You guys haven't seen it in a bit. There's the Osprey. I need to rescore a panel line across the top right there. And I need to fix the seam here and there. And that can clear coat, decal, and clear coat. So I'm going to get on those seams tonight. I need to have those seams done tonight. Is the um, um, helicopter going to be gray? Yep. And here's one of the helicopter blades. That's going to fly off? Mm-hmm. The helicopter blade goes right there. Okay? He, um, so let me get back to work. Okay, BB? You're scared, you're scared to build these. I'm scared to build that one, yes. I've seen someone attempt to build that one. And he's a good model builder. Very That's good a model builder. very good model builder. That's a scary model. This one up here, I've seen a lot of people do it. It's very time consuming. I know I can build that one. It just takes time. And it looks like that blue one somewhat she's talking about the d i have way down there okay so i'm going to get back at stuff you have lots and lots of star trek models right here lots of them babylon five star for <laughs> a bb 
And I'm going to do something real quick. We'll be back in a minute. The seam's done, and I fixed all my alignment issues with the tail. So, I need to worry about rescribing that one line that runs across the top of this thing. And that's going to be careful, delicate little work, because this thing's tiny, and it's hard to hold on to. I have my Tamiya Scriber, but I think my Tamiya Scriber might actually do too thick of a line for that. We're going to do a test run with the Scriber on some plastic card real quick and check and see. And make sure. I'll be back in a minute. Well, it looks like that line's going to be okay. So now I just got to tape that line so I have something to run across and get ready to do it. And this, to me, a Scriber is real easy to use. And it doesn't take much. And that line's not huge. So this should only take me a second or two. I can throw another coat of paint on it and see where things stand. And I see another little spot right there niggly spot to fix other than that after this point in time I should be able to just clerk coat it decal it detail paint it be done with it okay and I plan on doing a uh, clear coat with probably the lacquer stuff because I'm getting where I like the lacquer stuff I will do that for the decals I'm gonna put a glossy clear coat on it to put the decals on and yes this little guy has about 10 or 15 decals I'll be back in a little bit to talk about how to describe this and put the camera on the tripod.